Glossophobia which means the fear of public speaking still remains one of the biggest fear which comes next to the fear of death. And 4 out of 5 people are afraid of public speaking and who knows that you might be one of them. But the question is that have you ever thought that why, that why people are so afraid of public speaking? That why a person who was engaging, entertaining and confident minutes ago now becomes boring, disconnected and lacking in confidence? That why a person who is relaxed and confident in his day-to-day -day conversation can't be the same in group setting or in front of people? And suddenly, why there is a wave of nervousness and anxiety washes over him? So hey guys, my name is Shashank and today in this video we will try to understand the reasons behind the fear of public speaking. And the number one reason is the primal reasons which I call is the spotlight syndrome. And to understand that we have to go back in time when the humans were living in the caves and they were hunting on daily basis. And neuroscientists have understood one thing that humans have this ability to zeroing on the target which was necessary for them to hunt their prey. And there were the times when, people, when the humans were living in the caves and there were a shortage of food and not sufficient food for the whole group. And suddenly the whole group is staring at you and they are zeroing on you. And that can't be the sign, that can't be the good sign because which means that now your life is in danger. Which means that now you can be the food for your group. And now fast forwarding to the 21st century. That the moment you step onto the stage, your evolutionary memory kicks in. Because you see, the hundreds and thousands of eyes are staring at you, they are looking at you and you started feeling that your life is in danger. And a wave of nervousness and anxiety kicks in and you lost all of your confidence. So this is the one of the reasons which uh, make public speaking so dreadful because it gives you a sense of feeling that your life is in danger due to our evolutionary memories. And apart from these, there are other reasons as well. And the next reason is the high expectations. I have seen a lot of people who try to be perfect speaker every time they step onto the stage and they try not to commit such mistakes like uh, saying mm or uh in between the sentences. But the moment they hit, they make any mistake, all of their focus shifted on that mistake and they disconnect from the audience as well as from themselves. So setting high expectations is also one of the reasons which make public speaking so dreadful. And third and the most important reason is not knowing what to say. Even the most confident speaker in this world needs to know what he want to speak in front of people. And I have seen people who are afraid of public speaking because they feel that they don't know their subject well enough or they have not prepared well enough to speak in front of people. So lack of preparation about their content, about their topic is one of the major reasons because content is the king, right? And number fourth reason is fear of audience. I have seen people who are afraid of people because they think that what if someone challenges me? What if someone disagree with me or what if someone asks me a question which I don't know? So in those situations, people don't know how to react or how to uh, handle those situations. So they are afraid of standing in front of people, giving their opinions and speaking about the content which they are trying to speak. So fear of audience is also one of the reasons. And lastly, I want to talk about the RBS which is known as the Racing Brain Syndrome because this is one of the reasons on which you can put all of your blame of public speaking fear. Because when your mind or what you are thinking or what you are speaking gets out of the sink, you experience RBS which means that your brain is here and your tongue is here and your tongue is trying to catch up your brain. And it is always the brain which wins. Right? So this is the point where nervousness and anxiety kicks in and, and you start thinking that what should I speak next, what should I, what should I say next. And this is the point when your heart started beating quickly, you feel shortage of breath and you started speaking quickly so that you can catch up your brain and this is the point when you start wanting to finish your speech quickly and faster and that's the end. Or this is called racing brain syndrome. So this happens when all of other reasons uh, are added up and you feel and you experience RBS. But you don't have to worry because in the videos, in the upcoming videos, I will share some simple tips and strategies 
to overcome all of these problems one by one and you will be able to speak confidently in front of people or in front of camera so that's all for today's video so we talked about the reasons that why people are afraid of public speaking the number one was the number one reason was the primal reason the spotlight syndrome the high expectations lack of preparations fear of audience or racing brain syndrome so that's all for today's video thank you very much for having me don't forget to learn apply and share with others thank you very much